this Ender machine, there's so many different modifications that you can do. Thingiverse just has pages and pages of things that people have designed. These cable chains here are really nice. This is an extruder design that hooks up to the extruder and it runs the cable over here to the extruder filament feed. And then here's another one that I've printed that has a place for all of your different tools and accessories that can get on there really conveniently, all your Allen wrenches. And then I mean, you have a fan cover here. And the thing with printing lots of different modifications for your printer is whenever you first get your printer, it's a useful thing that you can print, but then you can also learn how to print it. So you'll learn a lot of things from printing different pieces like this, and you'll learn about support, formatting the prints, but it's also not just some random part like a bracelet. It's actually a part that might actually be effective and help the machine's performance. I printed some drawers down here that you can fit miscellaneous things, and then also a little filament guide here. So the filament comes through this roller here, and then it's guided right into the Bowden extruder. On this one, I formatted the G-code so it did what's called a filament change, where I could specify what layer I wanted it to pause at. It paused and then ejected the filament, and then I fed the new filament in, and then it continued to print where the text was so I could get that two-color layer. This is a pretty simple one, but I think it's pretty important as it covers your board that's on the bottom, your main control board. So whenever you're using the knob, your fingers aren't touching the board and it's just a little bit more comfortable and it keeps it protected. One of the other ones that I printed is this filament guide here. Honestly, I'd say it's not that great. I mean, the one that comes with it glides pretty smoothly. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. I mean, it works just fine, but even whenever this spins, it doesn't really move the bearings. So I don't think this one's quite as important. I printed this fan cover right here that goes on top of the main board just to keep filament and anything from falling inside of there and clogging the fan. Those are eight modifications that I've done to my Ender 3. Some of them might not be as necessary as some others, but I think some really help with aesthetics like these uh, cable chains. They look great, but they also keep everything organized, all the cables where you want them to be. So some, I would say, like this filament roll, not quite as important whereas like fan covers and stuff keep it a little bit quieter and more organized.